Hey guys, Juan here. Thanks for stopping by my channel and checking out this video. So in this video, we're gonna be talking about the new Echo Auto and we're gonna unbox it, see what's inside the box and um, see what Amazon has to offer with this new device. All right, so I love technology. It's one of the things I uh, make videos of on, on my channel here is all things technology and other kinds of things that I'm into. But this newest thing is the Echo Auto. Now I have been in the whole Amazon ecosystem. I know that's not really their term, that's Apple's term, but I have been uh, using Amazon products pretty much since they came out. I've got several I always hate it whenever you're watching videos on uh, Amazon products and they say the word and your devices go off inside your house. So I'm going to put the term on the screen. But yeah, I have several of those type of devices in our house and we use them on an everyday basis. Uh, whenever it's dinner time, I'm using them to announce that it's dinner time. I'm using it to uh, see what the weather is gonna be like. And uh, we use it to drop into our kids' rooms and to um, communicate that way. But we use those Amazon Echo devices on a regular basis. A few moments later. Sorry about that, my wife walked in while I was filming. But um, Amazon reached out to me and gave me a special invitation to be one of the first to try out these Echo Autos. And so we're gonna see what's in the box here. So when they sent it to me, it come in two different boxes like this. This is the Echo Auto air vent mount. And I'm assuming the actual um, Echo device is in here. So let's unbox this and see what we got. And then we'll take it out to my car and see how it fits. Um, it connects with Bluetooth and hopefully it's just like Kit on Knight Rider. This is gonna be the closest I'm gonna get to that. Knight Rider. Okay, so now that we have all of the components unboxed, let's take this out to my car and see how we install it and see um, how it connects. Okay, I'm in the car now, putting on my sunglasses because it's bright out here, but I'm gonna have my son here with me. He's gonna hold the camera while I video this and we install this in there. But first, he's gotta eat, finish eating his sandwich. Come on, I'm trying to make a YouTube video here and you're eating. A little longer than a few minutes later. Okay, one of the first things I did notice was that the adapter that they give you has two plugins here, and this only needs one, so they give you another spot there to hook up maybe uh, somewhere where you're gonna charge up your cell phone. So I'm gonna plug this in. Fortunately, I drive a Ford Fusion, and it's got a uh, hook up right underneath the radio dash. So I'm sure this is gonna be different for uh, all of you guys who have different kinds of vehicles. The vent mounts are gonna be different for everybody but this is what I drive and this is what it's gonna look like in there. So I'm gonna go ahead and hook this in. A little blue light comes on once you do get it hooked up to kind of show you that it does have some power going to it. Okay, so here's the part that hooks into the vent. This right here is magnetic, which then this will be hooked onto there. So this magnetic end to the other magnetic end, just like that. And then we'll mount this part here into the vent, just like that. Okay, something else I noticed here, this actually turns, which makes it nice because the way it originally was, it wasn't gonna hook in straight like that. It was gonna be all cockeyed like that, but I was able to rotate this thing here so that it'll fit on there straight. Okay, so one end of this is, is plugged into the adapter. Now I'm getting ready to plug this end into the Echo device. Bam, and we have power. 
Hello. Let's get rolling. When you can safely do so, go to your Alexa app and add a new device. Okay, so I already have the Alexa device downloaded on my phone from having all the other Amazon Echo devices. And if you don't have it, go ahead and download it now. Okay, so now I got the Echo device synced up to my phone, and my phone is synced up to my car. So that's how the connections are. And so far it works, so let's give it a try so you guys can see, and then I'm gonna turn up the volume in my car so you can hear it real well. Okay, so you can see that it's synced up here, iPhone. It says that the Amazon in sync with it, and then it just went off when I said her name. What time is it? The time is 3.57 p.m. Looks like my clock is off a little bit here. So what is the temperature? Right now, it's 89 degrees Fahrenheit. Tonight, expect a low of 68 degrees. Okay, and we are sitting in the sun, so it says 109. So the temperature in the car is off, but this one was correct. All right, now we're going to test out the music and see if she can play some music. Play some instrumental music. Okay, the station, Instrumental Chill on Amazon Music. Okay, so she seems to be working properly. Um, it's loud enough, I mean, it's gonna be as loud as your speakers are in your car. But some of the things that you can try with it is you can ask her to maybe start audi audible if um, you're reading an audiobook, or um, you can say add bananas to my shopping list if you use your Amazon device to uh, do your shopping with, or um, you can ask her what's on your calendar, uh, maybe play the news. Uh, sometimes I use it for the news or sports. Um, the weather, I use it for weather all the time, so you can ask her what the weather's gonna be like, or maybe even what your commute is gonna be like uh, on your way to work, she'll tell you that. So it's, uh, it's just like any other um, a device, Echo device that you have at home. It's just right here in your car and it syncs up with your phone. So it's always online when you turn on your car. Okay, one of the new features that I just discovered on here was uh, I wanted to find out where the closest coffee shop was at. And I had to go into my settings on my phone and set it, set the privacy to allow um, location services always and therefore she can then discover what locations or what you're needing um, because she can dive into your phone see the locations that way my settings were not on that uh, before so whenever you buy this you have to turn that on so where's the closest McDonald's here are a few nearby ones one McDonald's so this is as close as I'm gonna get to being uh, like Knight Rider. This is now my kit. I wish I could change the name um, of my device to kit. So instead of uh, using the default name that they give me, because if I could, it would be kit. Okay, so hopefully that gives you a, a real world look at what this device does and, and uh, what kind of benefits or features that you will get with it if you purchase this. So I'll have a link in the description down below of where you can pick one of these up at. And um, hopefully you guys like this video. Hopefully it helped you out. If you did, maybe throw a thumbs up on this. Uh, go ahead and subscribe to my channel. I do tech videos all the time. And um, I'll see you back in the next one. Until then, be creative.